Mr. Man. Look at him sitting. How adult does he look right now? Ugh. I am watching him, so do not worry. I'm not just walking about, leaving him sitting there. My, <laughs> he's like smiling at me. Um, my theory did not work this morning of me doing my makeup right when he woke up. But I'm eating breakfast because since he didn't want me to do my makeup, then I'll just eat breakfast, that's fine. I'm eating the muffins from yesterday. I'm eating the raspberry one right now, and then I have a blueberry one as well, and then I'm also having my chai. So good. <laughs> He's just staring at me. It's like, who are you talking to? I caught you. Are you watching Jenna Marbles? Yeah, yeah you are. clean laundry <laughs> that I'm just now getting to today. Um, but I'm going to start by sorting it, but I thought I would just do a laundry chat. The baby is in the bathroom with the fan on. Um, I really need to get him like a noise machine so I don't have to put him in the bathroom, but whatever. What works, works. There's something to talk about. If something works for your baby, it doesn't matter if it's like maybe weird it you know i'm doing pretty good i have not much to do today except i have a few errands to run but i feel like today's the first day all week today's thursday that i don't have something like incredibly important to be doing like oh i don't know going to mazda to uh, see how much damages are to my car, which it's like, I found out it's going to be like $2,000 in damages. It's like $800 in parts for my car. That was just such a bummer that day. It totally put us in a funk, me and David. Um, and I, I got my crash on film. I just happened to be filming. Um, and I was gonna put it in the video, but me and David kind of reviewed it, and it is terrifying because, like, I turned right when I saw him coming down the, like, driveway. So I was backing out like this, and he was backing out like this, and I saw him coming, and then I was like, no! And then crash, and, like, I went like this, boom! And so it was, like, it was quite terrifying. The look on my face is terror because... I don't think I was really terrified that he was hitting my car, that's, I mean, even though it was a brand new car. <laughs> um, I was more terrified because the baby was in the car, I was terrified because, you know, I knew that it was going to put us in a bad mood, like, like, yes, I'm upset that my car has damage to it, but I'm not that type of person, you know? You kind of have to pick your battles when you have a newborn. Like, okay, while he's sleeping, what do I want to do? Do I want to do my makeup, you know? Because sometimes he's perfectly content. Like, my first cleaning video, if you guys have seen that, he stayed good the entire day, pretty much. He was in his bouncer, in the um, carrier. He stayed good. Wait, what was I saying? I don't really remember, to be honest. Where did I, oh, here we go. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I was talking about. There's mom life for you. Oh, yeah, he was being really good. Back to picking your battles. 
I know that when he's up, he will only be good for so long. So when he's sleeping, I need to decide, okay, while he's sleeping, what do I want to do? You know, maybe you're super tired. That would be a great time to take a nap. Do you know how many moms say sleep when they sleep to me? Like it, it was incredible how many moms were just like, nope, do not worry about, for the first three months, this lady told me, don't worry about cleaning the house. Don't worry about getting anything done. I know that as a woman, especially when you're home and you're not working, you feel like, okay, I need to be doing something. I need to be contributing. Taking care of your child is contributing, you know? So don't worry about it. Maybe if you're like exhausted, sleep when they sleep. And especially for the first like month, they're sleeping, you know, you have to wake up every two hours to feed them. So you're up every two hours and that is a lot of work, you know? And interrupted sleep is horrible. I will attest to that. It is horrific. Like even if you get eight, hours of sleep if it's interrupted it, it almost doesn't even count he's sleeping pretty well through the night now so i don't really need sleep i mean towards like four o'clock i get pretty tired and i'm like okay i kind of need a nap but then if i kind of push past that point then i'm usually fine so i decided to do laundry because I, it's like my makeup and then a chore that kind of takes a little while. I can't stand him screaming while I do it. It's just such a stress signal for me. And maybe I'll get used to it, but right now I am not. Like I, I hate him screaming while I'm doing things. So laundry is one of those things that kind of takes a little while. I really shouldn't let it um, pile up like this, but it's just, I'm so good at putting things in the washer and switching them to the dryer, but then when it comes to folding it and putting it away, I just, it'll take seven to ten business days. Sometimes I'll even do this whole system and I'll sort everything, and then, like, it stays in piles like this for a day or two and then David's like okay but he always does get very thankful when I at least sort it it's so much easier to fold or hang up or put away when it's like okay those are your clothes you do that pile these are my clothes you know baby's clothes are really easy I also separate like David's socks and underwear, my socks and underwear, my clothes, his clothes. Then I do um, guest bathroom, our bathroom, sheets and pillowcases, kitchen, and then baby. Look at his little baby sock. Eh. I've already decided that he's not gonna wear matching socks. Like he's wearing matching socks right now because I happen to be able to find them, but not for long, let me tell you that. Because I don't match my socks, I just have a bin of socks. Because I don't have time to match my socks. Why in the world would you spend that much time of your life matching your socks? I just, I don't get it, I really don't. It's like a waste, you know? You could be doing so many other things. But anyway, I've gotten so many comments from people that I know, obviously, because I'm pretty sure most of my subscribers are people that I know, but that's fine with me. But anyways, I'm getting so many comments that they're really enjoying my videos, and I find that very inspiring because I'm really enjoying making my videos, so I'm glad that people are enjoying them. I have this app that shows me my analytics, which I don't care about how many subscribers I have because I'm honestly and truly doing this as a hobby because I've always wanted to do it. But I do have this app that shows me kind of, you know, who's watching your videos as far as like, is it a subscriber or not a subscriber? You know, what age range is watching your videos? 
and so most of the people watching my videos are 17 and older. 80% of the people that watch my videos are not even subscribers, which I find crazy. That's craziness. I think it's all the people clicking on my videos on Facebook, like my Facebook friends. So Facebook friends, if you could take the moment to subscribe, that would be lovely. You don't have to, no pressure, but I'm just saying. It also helps having this channel because I can show the world all of his cute little moments. And so I don't have to post 7,000 pictures on Facebook and Instagram of him. This blanket is finally clean. Let's look for another. And all my leggings are finally clean. I have like seven pairs of black leggings. And so when they're all dirty, I wear dresses. Like in my cleaning, my recent cleaning video, that's why I was wearing a dress, because it was laundry day. But I enjoy wearing a dress because it was very nice outside. And I know that my last video, yesterday's video, the crash video, um, was I kind of long-winded. I talked a lot in that video about anxiety. But I hope that if you have anxiety, that it helped. A couple more things that give me anxiety. I have a letter that I need to send out in the mail. But I don't have stamps, so that means I have to go to the post office and get stamps. And for some reason, that gives me anxiety. Someone outside is, like, it sounds like church bells, but I think someone's doing construction or something. <clears throat> anyway. Um. Yeah. So going to the post office to get stamps gives me anxiety. Like, and I could drive all the way to my Riverview branch, which was in Portland, and ask them to mail the letter for me, but driving all the way to Portland just to mail a letter, like, I could just suck up my anxiety and go to the post office and buy a freaking stamp. And then I think I want to get my nails done. So, I'm just changing him right now. But, baby wipes are universal, you know? <laughs> I have to use natural deodorant. Oh, well, I don't have to, but I like to use natural deodorant since I'm breastfeeding him and he's all up in there. The only issue is that it just does not last as long as my other deodorant. So, sometimes things are multi-purpose, you know? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Like... Hot mess mom? No. Resourceful mom is what I am. I'm gonna have another wrap for lunch, which is what we had for dinner, but I'm gonna kind of spice it up a bit because it just sounds really good. So I'm gonna cut up some green pepper, some onion, there's bacon here, spinach, vegan ranch, and then I'm gonna put some pepper jack cheese, but I'm gonna put these spicy chipotle lime vegan chicken tenders in it instead of actual chicken because these cook faster. I know it's super weird that I mix like vegan stuff and not vegan stuff but like I said in a previous video I was vegan for like half of a year and so I'm so used to eating vegan stuff and if I can avoid dairy and like meat and certain things why wouldn't I? Hi guys. Hi guys. My name's Simeon. 
Say hello. Who is that baby? Who? Is that a simian baby? <laughs> Can you give them a smile? <laughs> Mommy loves you. I'm gonna show you this video when you're 15 so you know how much kisses you got. Okay, make sure you subscribe. Because I'm very cute. Make sure you ring the bell. Because I am cute. Daddy's home? Mm. Are you so happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I miss you so much all day long. Mm. Oh. I miss him. <laughs> I wish I could strap him to the front of me or the back of me and just go to work all day. <laughs> you want to go to work with Daddy? Take your child to work day? A big strong man. Building stuff. Truck, yeah. And doing Billy man stuff. <laughs> so how was your day, honey? <laughs> oh, my day was fantastic. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Babes. You enjoying your walk? <laughs> yeah. How about, how about that? <laughs> Family walk. I was healthy all day. But that means I get a treat. <laughs> get away, I wouldn't put it on it anymore. <laughs> Oh, you licked me. Thank you for dinner, honey. You're welcome, honey. <laughs> this is how you eat dinner with a child that wants to be held. One hand here, one hand here. <laughs>